<laughs> We're going to see what happens here. He's sticking by his character, and that is the mark of a true main, overcome, overcoming any bad matchup. But um, as you said earlier, Wadi versus Pac-Man. I, I actually commented over Wadi earlier, and I loved his play um, versus the Mario and the Mar Mars. But both of those characters are close range. Pac-Man is going to enjoy the space, so Mewtwo in this case is going to be the aggressor. More than likely, that will definitely be the case. They is known to go in, though. So he's got to be very, very, very cautious, and you can see uh, Wadi is very familiar with this matchup. He's using the perfect Shadow Balls, not fully charged quite, but just enough to break the the Hydrant into Zade, and that's going to be key to the matchup. Yeah, I think the Hydrant has um, like 12 HP or 14? Yep. Somewhere around there. So it's just like, if you keep that in mind, knowing how much damage your moves do, you can just break that Hydrant and not have Pac-Man have the opportunity that he wants. The Galaga is up, that's where Mute... Pac-Man just gets tricky with that thing. This man's like, hey, I'm pretty much David. Oh, Gallagher just fell off. Um, he's pretty much I'm David Copperfield. Watch these tricks I do. He's a, and right now, it's uh, it's it's a little looking a little rough right now. And uh, one thing to be very scared of, Mewtwo is one of the best kill throws in the game. His up throw will kill Pac-Man right now. So Zade has got to be very cautious of that. He's going to have to space his moves a lot differently. Nothing on shield, unsafe oh. anyway. Oh, this man is just actually not uh, not wanting to get to this stage. Really respecting his uh, Pac-Man's control over everything right now, knowing that he could throw out an up air or maybe drop a hydrogen on me. The other thing Zage has to worry about, which I haven't seen Wadi yet, and he might be doing this for conditioning, is he reflecting the key or reflecting any oh, of the projectiles. Over the hydrant! That was very nice. Like, just the launch timing of that was very nice. Not just I don't the launch timing, but also the size of the Shadow Ball. It wasn't fully charged. If it had been fully charged, it would have hit the Hydrant. Right. I don't know if he did it on purpose. I'm going to say he did it on purpose. I, he he I, did it on purpose. That was a pro I, play, Zay. I believe him oh, right Wadi. now. I believe him right now. Ooh, he hit the red. <laughs> Just barely made it back. Almost sd because of the red uh, Pac-Man. Okay, lift. tell me why an orange completely blocks a fully charged Shadow Ball. An orange. I understand vitamin D is good, but... uh. Come on. <laughs> I can't. I wish I could tell you. If I could, I, I, I'd, I'd be in this round of the tournament. <laughs> uh, using the Nair to snuff out the potential Hydra falling down was a good idea, but unfortunately got caught by the Hydra being launched into him right back here. Ooh, and, uh, <clears throat> there, there was an example of using the Reflector. He actually used it on the Hydra. That was the last thing I expected him to do. That Apple will kill. Uh, Wadi's got to look after that. I actually do love the fact that Wadi is being really respectful of the projectiles as well. Like he's not allowing them to, to dictate his own gameplay, but when they're around, he's just like, okay, let me assume this projectile is going to be thrown out here, and I'm going to reflect it when I can. Yep. And Zage, Zage is, is starting to adapt to that. Yep, there's the Apple KO. He went four times for the Apple there. I liked what Zage went for there. He threw the Apple, hoping it would break the Hydrant. That way, while that one's flying in the air, he had the Shadow Ball going on the ground, providing two of really strong projectiles that had the potential yep. to KO. Double coverage. Well executed by Zage. And we'll see what he can do here. It's actually an even game. Uh, despite a game that feels like it's been dominated by Wadi, Zage has slipped in the lead here. Oh, well, until that Hydrant came out. All right, throw that out there just to um, force him down with more. <clears throat> Things looking really close here. 2.30 on the clock. I thought he was going to try and give that grab in the back throw. The disrespect. Oh, he's wait if, he, if the opportunity presents itself. Uh oh, the opportunity here for Zage. Couldn't quite uh, get the setup he was looking for. Here we go. For. The Gallagher tricks. Every Pac-Man loves doing. I wonder how much a Pac-Man main practice those moves. Alright, so let There's me go, go right here. Get the air, air dodge. Drop it real quick. And I like how Zage has changed the way he's approaching the matchup. He's... He's not letting Wadi control the matchup. He says, okay, I know what you're going to do. I know how you're going to attack the Hydra and reflect my projectiles. I'm going to react to those things and expect you to do it. And that's really what's changed the matchup. Oh, oh my, the Apple Pie that's unfortunate. probably would have done the job, but the balloon gets in the way. Uh, Patman has to be really careful here. Even, even with yes. the weight buff, he is still one of the lightest characters in the game. Do not get caught by anything risky or you're gone. The Hydra's right in front of him. Back up. Uh, Mewtwo, Mewtwo is, yes. Uh, Pac-Man's quite heavy. Which is, you know, oddly, um, odd. <laughs> that hydrant. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, that was close. If he had done up smash off that side B, that might have been it. But he, Sage, uh, did air dodge. It would have worked. But a minute 30 left on the clock. Not saying it's going to run the time, but the fact that it's gotten this far. Yeah, I don't think it's going to go to time either. Oh, man. He would, he oh. would, he would love to reflect that key because that's game over. Pac-Man has no chance to reflect that key. If he, if he reflects it, he can't react in time. Oh, this that is was safe. oh! Throw the key while he's on the platform. I yeah, like definitely. Oh, 
I'm, was, I'm nervous. I don't yeah, know this is a happens. scary situation here. One minute on the clock. And this is anybody's game at Bleep. this point. Shout outs to both these players for keeping under core and not um, changing up the gameplay to be more aggressive. A uh, fully charged Shadow Ball might kill Sage. Oh, Sage. Uh -oh. Uh, up throw. Okay. What? No, up throw is not K KO yet. It might now, but it depends on the rage. Okay. If you get Mewtwo gets a few more percent, it might kill. Uh oh, this could be bad. Wow! Oh, he's got he's got it. Ducked it. Wow! Seven seconds to go. Was just barely over it. And now is Sage gonna start thinking about the clock here. Apple's gonna get the job done. <laughs> That's a, for for all of that tension. He just an apple. That's that's how he killed him both stocks. Yeah, I know, but it was just like just a, just tossed it. Yeah, you did well because the apple it. has so much you have so much control of the apple unlike the other projectiles, you can throw it diagonally. Yeah. And uh Zage knows his projectiles very well. He knows exact percents on kills. He'll always charge the apple because it's the easiest to hit with. I feel like his parents told him an apple a day keeps the cat away, so just throw it as much as you can. All right, Here keep we go, charge YouTube. it up again. What did he charge? I think he charged up to the line? Either the line oh never mind, the Galaga. I just didn't see it accurately. Alright, not respecting it at all. Pretty much resetting it. And uh, one thing I'm really surprised about here, Wadi, uh, he used to be known as Wadi Rob, like I mentioned. Um, he uh, he played Rob in Brawl. He also played Rob in this game. I'm surprised he didn't switch to Rob. Uh, this is one of Zade's least favorite matchups is Rob versus Pac-Man. And uh, I just, it, it's a very good matchup in general. So I'm not sure why he wouldn't think about it, but... I guess he didn't feel like he lost by enough where it where it would matter. So, all right, we're finally getting in throwing the Galaga in. But you're right; I can understand how Rob would be able to deal with him. But maybe he just likes you two more. It could be a, a comfort pick. Absolutely, and he went back to the same stage too. So that's like salty run back territory. I was, I was gonna say that's, not, that's nice in Saltville. And he run back on the same stage. You just, you just add salt to the name. Saltville, uh, Final Salt, Saltville. It's all good. And like you said, Mewtwo did get a very slight weight buff. Um, it does matter, believe me, it does matter. Um, but it doesn't matter that much. So this is this is going to be advantage Pac-Man if, if it goes in the high percents, because Pac-Man is very heavy. And like you said, he can build up to that rage level where the apple is, is his best KO move. And if he gets in that position, he's got the advantage, because that's going to be a hard move for Mewtwo to reflect. All right, watch out for that belt. There's the weight I, coming into I, play. I just called it. <laughs> I said be wary, and he was not costing that first stock. And now with only 98%, um, Roddy is going to have to work a little bit hard to make sure he takes the stock sooner rather than later. But at the same time, you cannot be overzealous. You have to be smart in this, in this situation. You can't r try to rush a KO because that is how you get damaged very easily. Zage will take, take advantage of mistakes, and a character like Pac-Man can make a lot of damage off one mistake. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh! Okay. Alright, only 18% of damage. Really good position for Wadi right now. Yeah, I think Zage made an error there. Uh, I'm kind of surprised he got hit by the Hydrant, but... Uh, fortunate for Wadi, and here we go. Oh, just barely was able to perfect shield that. Shout out, keeping the Shadow Balls out there just makes just to keep um, just to keep Zage on his toes. Really nice option. You don't want to let your opponent get too comfortable in the distance. You have a projectile, keep throwing it at them as much as possible. Ooh, Unfortunately, nice got caught by the Shadow Ball at the wrong time. I'm sorry, got caught by the Hydra at the wrong time. Ooh. And the Shadow Ball. Where are they? Dub double neutral neutral air to side B. And uh, he's, he's, wow, he's doing a great job with neutral, neutral air here. He's covering space, and he's keeping the Hydra at bay. I think that's really important. Um, a lot of people don't know, but like... Oh, there's there's the reflector too. Uh, you can actually challenge that hydrant air, and if you clash with oh. it, you can win. That might have been a bait. I'm not sure. I'll I'll give him credit. I'll, I'm not gonna say that's an air. All yeah. right, I'll give him credit. What we got here? All right, so 56 percent to 61 percent. It is now in Wadi's favor. Two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. This is just gonna be a a, a, a game of patience. Like they're Absolutely. both just respecting their opponent, which is what they should do, because both opponents have really good moves and combos that can just crack back up high damage. And both opponents so far have shown that they'll 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 make big punishes when they get an opportunity. Ooh. That caught him out the air dive. I think he was expecting for attack. 
Zage is re I, what I'm really impressed with is Zage's stage control. Zage has done such a good job, especially this game. Um, once he's kind of figured out why these, you know, reaction to most of his defaults, uh, Zage has just been able to keep stage control so effectively. Yeah. Using oh, you saw him use the hydrant. He also has been using up B, leaving up B in the middle of the level, so that Mewtwo has to jump over it, and that limits his options severely. It's kind of like leaving the gyro out in the middle of the stage as Rob. Right now, like Zage is not, he racked up a good, I was gonna say he racked up a good 50% and hasn't taken any damage since we last checked it. Oh, back throw, was the disrespectful back throw. Why are you looking to claim this game to take Oh, that's, that's, that's gonna I was do gonna it. say, that with the rage, that'll do Woo! the job. You gonna say he's looking to claim this game to take it to a game three. He did just that. Shadow Claw, critical hit. And apparently it's super effective. You would assume that um, Pac Man's a, a normal type. I would think so. He, he couldn't. He couldn't be weak to Shadow Ball, though Shadow Ball is a ghost move, so it, or Shadow Claw is a ghost move, so it would be ineffective. Right. Technically. Which is like, you know, you would think that would not even work. Well, proof that Pac Man is not a normal type. He is <laughs> something else other than normal. We'll figure out what that is uh, it, it, here it, it, in it game 3. It probably be determined by the bands he's wearing. Right now, he's a water type due to the blue bands. Yeah, he's like Arceus. He has to use plates. Yo, true. <laughs> Right here we go. Final Destination. Some great music going on in the background, and the nucleus of the. I don't. Even, what is the background supposed to be on Final Destination? Is that taboo? I have no idea. It's like the Smash World. Cause like Eva. I don't know. I'm thinking too much into it. I, so, so I, yeah, I just think they wanted it to look really cool. Someone make a fan theory on the background of Final Destination for us and tweet it at me. <laughs> but in the meantime, PK Sparks to make a video about it. <laughs> but in the meantime, oh, okay. That was so weird. It almost reflected off his shield. Very strange there, but. Um, now, what we see in the first two games <laughs> is that the person controlling neutral the entire game has not been the winner. <laughs> so, true. Uh, Why do you had it the first game? He lost. Zage had it the second game. He lost. So, don't let the first stop be an indication of anything. Uh, here, espe especially at FD and these two characters' matchups. I want to see more combos from Wadi following up Mewtwo's um, fair. Well, you know, the problem with that is, uh, especially at the percents they're at now, is that Mewtwo really doesn't have any follow-ups on Pac-Man at this percent with the level of rage. Oh! The nice, nice Very nice. Rage. He set it up. Um, say, reflect, reflect this. I dare you. He reflected the corner with the key. Got him with the second key. Trying to go for a third key. Calm down. I understand, like, shame on you, shame on me. Monkey tactics, but come on. And I... This is what I like about Zage so much, is that he adapts to the situation so well. He figured out Wadi, what Wadi was doing. Now... Ooh, oh! Is gonna do it? No. He's alright. Almost. You never see Wadi go off stage and try to get any um, like the aerial attacks with Mewtwo. He has great options. He has a dare. He has a Shadow Claw. But every time um, Zayn has been off stage, he's charging up a Shadow Ball, which isn't a, isn't a bad option. But now I'm sure Zayn by now expects that. Yes, and but uh, Pac-Man can get early KOs off the of okay. That was a beautiful tech. Okay, he had to yeah he had to tech it to live it, but Zayn was ready for that too. So again, Z uh, zero zero last stock. It is anyone's match. And uh, right now, right now it's going in Zayda's favor by 39%. Now Wadi's got an opportunity here. Here's a combo, 38. That's all you can get. So both both players doing about 38% combos. Yeah, basically even trying to um, get back on the ground. Got caught by the, caught by the key in his air dash. I'm um, air dodge. Excuse me. Whoa! I had no idea it charges with the item that he's charging up. Clashes. I'm saying all the, I'm not an English guy. So I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I had no idea a projectile will clash with the item that Pac-Man is charging. I just noticed that now. Look at that. Learning something new every day. Uh, we always learn something new here. Zinu. Oh, I think he tried to side B the hydrant. It was too slow on it. I I don't disagree with him charging Shadow Ball on stage and just waiting. If he if he misses off stage, he's so floaty. Pac-Man could react to it. Uh, and Shadow Ball definitely kills early. Like, it kills super early. It's tw does 26 damage. It's strong. Why not? Especially right. when you're in rage like he is now. That's going to kill real early. Yeah, you definitely want to be careful. As a matter of fact, both of them being really even percent. Oh, there it was. And okay. you see, it got, it got to be a little bit of a nervous situation. Was he able to reflect Oh, that's it! it. That's going to be it. Really close game. Zage with the flan pudding, whatever it is. The I bell. I... I thought it. I thought it was pudding also, but I. I. 